Okay, so now we have our box set up. We are ready to edit it and make it look amazing. Turn it into whatever your heart desires, anything in the world. So I'm gonna maximize my viewport with Alt W like we did in the last video. And all I'm gonna do now is we're gonna turn this box and make it so that we can edit its different pieces, its vertexes, its edges, etc. How I'm gonna do that is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my modifier panel and I'm gonna go to the modify tab. And I'm gonna click on it. And what you're gonna see is the name of the object, the wireframe color like before, this drop down list that we're not really worried about. Hey, look, it says box. This is kind of just telling us, hey, this object is a box. Um, and that's why we have these parameters below it. Right now, this is only known as a box. It, it can't be edited uh, because we can change these things in this window. And I'm actually gonna do this real fast. I'm just gonna change these to an even number so we have a perfect box. That's a, it's, the only reason I'm really doing it is because it's good practice to get into once you start making other more advanced models to get yourself to a good baseline, but also just to start learning to be kind of clean when you're modeling. So that's all we need to really worry about that. These leg, uh, these segments are just kind of a way of cutting up the box into extra pieces, and we don't really need that right now. But what we do need to do is we need to make a way so this box can be edited so we can move points around so this doesn't have to be a, a cube the rest of its life. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna convert this box object into an editable poly object. And how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna select our model and we're going to right click on it and we're gonna go down to convert to editable poly. It's the very last option in this marking menu pops up when you left click. Once I right click on it, or I should say left click on it, it'll give us a whole new options on the side here. We'll still see the name, we'll still see the wireframe color. We're gonna get this modifier list, we'll use that later, more advanced stuff. We can see now that, hey, this cube is an editable poly. And then if we open up this tab, we can see all the things that make up the edible poly. And down here, we have different ways of selecting different pieces of this box. So the first thing we have is vertexes. And so I have all these little, little vertexes turn blue and I can select them. And I can use the different gizmos to move them around, rotate them, scale them, do all kinds of different manipulations. I can also select multiple of them by just clicking and dragging open a selection box around what I want to select. So once I do that, all these points will move together now. And then I can also use the rotate on all four of these points together. I can use the scale on all four of these points together. And then the next thing we have is edges. I can click on an edge and I can do all the same things. I can select it, I can scale it, I can rotate it. And I can also grab multiple and do exactly the same thing. So really is endless possibilities on that. The next option is border and we'll come back to that in a later video. It's not really that important right now. You might say, hey, this isn't working at all. Don't really worry about it. So what I'm gonna do next is the next option, which is polygon. So we're gonna click on that and it allows us to select the faces. Again, the same manipulators. And if I wanna select more than one of any of these at any time, I can just hold on control and I'm gonna left click on any of the faces I wanna to add to the selection. And if I wanna take something away, I just have to hold down Alt and then click on a face. And then I'll take the, the polygon away from my selection. And then the last thing is the element mode. What element mode does is say, hey, this box is an object altogether. So it'll take all of its parts and select everything. So when I click on it, it's not selected all the faces, it's selected the entire model. So I can move it around this way if I want to, which I don't suggest doing. But once you have major adjustments to the object, you might say, hey Brad, I want to move it around or something. I wanna make this whole object now in this shape moved over here to the left a little more. But I can't because I keep, there's no widget anymore. And if I have to move every one of these vertexes, I don't wanna to have to grab these and move it over. What you do is come over to the sub-object mode you were in and click on it again and it'll put you in this raw state where we're actually not manipulating any of its sub-objects, we're actually moving the object itself. So we can move it around, we can edit it, we can do different things in this mode that we can't when we're inside a sub-object mode. Now, all of these sub-object modes have their own keyboard shortcut, which make it very fast. So if I'm unselected and I have my mesh selected and there's no sub-objects, I can hit one on the keyboard, which will put me in vertex mode. I can hit two for edge, lets me select any edges. Three for border mode, which we'll get back to. Four for polygons. 
and then five for element mode. Now, if I'm in any one of these modes, let's say I'm in vertexes or edges, and I wanna go back to the mode where I can move the entire object, I can hit six and it will unselect any sub object I'm in, which lets me move the object itself around again. Now this is super useful and can be used in a lot of different ways. So just remember, one, two, three, four, five for your main modes, and then six will always unselect you, put you back in the most raw state so that you can move the object itself around.